producer Jordan Peele and actor Dev Patel in his directorial debut, teaming up on Monkey Man, now playing in theaters. With more on what to watch this weekend, we are joined by movie critic Ray Drake. I'm a big Jordan Peele fan. I love Dev Patel as well. This looks like a good one, is it? Yes. And like, look at my face because the violence in this movie <laughs> really lingers with you. And so by night, Dev Patel's character is in the ring, losing every fight in a monkey mask for money. Okay. And by day, he has vowed vengeance upon the horrible, evil people that are religious leaders and, and policemen that have taken the land from the indigenous people that he grew up with, and they murdered his mother. Oh. So similar to John Wick, he has a clear motivation that you can get behind, mm. and my God, does he beat these people to a pulp. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so... It's a lot of violence. It is a beautiful movie. Like, the, sh the cinematography is great. His acting is awesome as always. Really a strong debut. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Woo. Wow. Ooh, okay. it's haunting. That's oh, my look. God. There's stuff in this movie that the whole audience went like, Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> which has been true for other Jordan Peele movies as true. well. Uh, the First Omen, what is that? A prequel to The Omen, okay? So they're really, like, releasing a lot of nun movies lately. One oh, right. might say they're even making it a habit. <laughs> oh, well played. <laughs> I couldn't resist. And so in this movie, we have Margaret, played by Nell Tiger Free from Apple TV Plus's The Servant. And she's this young nun. She shows up in Rome. And there's a young girl at the orphanage that everybody is really horrible to. Weird things are happening. They blame the girl. It's a mess. It's oh, scary. And yeah, the, it looks the, really creepy. This is a perfect prequel to The Omen, though. It is vintage horror all the way. It's creepy. It's not gory. And it definitely gets very unsettling by the end, like another movie that gives you kind of permanent goosebumps. So it sounds not good. No, actually, yeah. I really you liked, liked it. it. You liked it. But it I just think, has a yeah. it has an old school rhythm. Okay. So yeah. you need to really love The Omen. Okay. And this is streaming? No. That one's in theaters. Oh, this one is in theaters. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and so is the next one, too. Okay, housekeeping for beginners. So this is an international film with subtitles, but stick with me. It's in, <laughs> it's in Macedonian, and it's about Dita. And her girlfriend has tragically passed away from cancer, leaving behind two daughters. And she has to figure out how to take care of them when she has no legal guardianship rights at all. Her house is kind of this LGBTQ safe house. Mm. And so she's trying desperately to keep everything together. And it is not okay over there to be who you are. Mm. So mm -hmm. it's super relatable. Obviously, it's a universal issue. It's a really heartwarming movie. Mm. And it's, it's just like the... The more beautiful differences we have, we also have so many similarities as well. This wow. felt like it was happening in our backyard. Wow. Um, speaking of happening in our backyard, next week we're all going to have an eclipse happening in our backyard. Oh. Can you show off your shirt? Sure can. Very proud of this one. It's just a phase. <laughs> <laughs> except, except the next one isn't until 2045. Yeah. Right. And so yeah. that's uh, you have that long until I moon you. <laughs> <laughs> You're full of them tonight. I love it. All right, Gray, as always, thank you. Have